How to create newsletter in Google Docs for business or personal. Hi there, you guys. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own newsletter for your business or your for your personal needs here on Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs is a convenient tool for creating various documents, including professional business or personal newsletters. And using Google Docs simply requires a computer with an internet connection, which allows you to access it from any location in the world, you guys, and without needing a specific desktop applications or files so you can work with any computers uh, for example if you left your like computer behind and you're using another one it's not going to be a problem so obviously step one is to uh, create a free google docs account to create one at the google docs website it's easy if you can just uh, go ahead and type in google.com and then you'll see tab right at there yeah you see like an icon which has dot dots and then basically just click that and then browse down and then choose um, Google Docs right there and make an account. And of course, if you already have a Google account, it won't be a problem. Next is to um, uh, click the, for, for, for a while, I'll have to go back to this page right over here. Okay, so once you're uh, done creating your account, it's gonna be easy to create a, uh, yeah, a newsletter. So you'll see this dashboard right over here, right? When you first sign in or log in, you can immediately create a blank template right here, but we're looking forward to do it the easier way. So I'm gonna browse templates by clicking that button right over there. And I'm gonna browse down until I see newsletter. Okay, so here we are. We have different options for the newsletter, newsletter geometric, newsletter lively, and uh, what do you think, you guys? I, I think this one looks better. So I'm going to go with newsletter geometric. The thing with templates is that you don't have to worry about how you lay out your, um, yeah, how you lay out your newsletter because one, uh, one good factor or one good element that you should consider when you're trying to create your f newsletter is that the layouting should be perfect. Now, the layouting isn't easy to do you guys it's actually a part of a program when it comes to like college students who study communication arts stuff like that they do really have to study about where to put pictures where to put photos there are certain psychological connotations to where you put photos and pictures uh photos and texts on your newsletter and yes the thing with templates like this is that you really don't have to do anything else just replace all the texts and pictures with your own and then hit publish easy as that so now aside from uh layout you need you also need to have a good content marketing you guys now the whole point of you sending newsletters is because you don't want to lose your brand being top of mind right so you want to remind your customers constantly how good your brand is and a good way to describe this style of content would be something topically adjacent to your industry but not about you or your business so basically you want to write something that doesn't sound narcissistic to some people or maybe egocentric about your when it comes to your business and the stuff that you do maybe just write something that is related to your um business and then convince people that yours is still the best right so now we are now uh starting with a template and the rest comes in okay so i'm gonna type in uh yeah, my company name right over here. I'm going to go with Black Parade. So I decided that I'll become a clothing brand to remind my buyers about the new product that I'm going to be I'm going to be releasing and how amazing they are. So Okay, let's change this to new release because that's what this newsletter is all about. New release. So the title would be Oh, the date is is also important. We can just put in 2022 right here. And for the photo, you can... Uh, let's replace this. I want to replace it. Let's try. Okay, all image options. All right, this is where you actually edit the, the image. But I just wanted to um, hit backspace because I wanted to like change this one to my own photo. Right, to delete the photo, you guys, just hit backspace and then insert right here. Let's insert an image. We can now upload from the computer. 
And here are the photos that I've prepared. I've created like a folder for it to look a little bit more organized than, you know, scrambling all around my downloads. I like to do, I like to do like creating folders first when I start to create a project. That's the first thing that I want to do, sort my files out as well. Now I wanted to put this because the picture a while ago is actually, um, landscape as well so now for the text it's also important that you st uh, you type in your texts first like maybe on a notepad or like a separate app just for you to like have it ready and then uh just copy them and paste them right from where you deleted the previous text that is already here on the template so there you go uh, easy as that, right? So basically, you don't have to spend much time on this platform. Now, all you have to do is copy and paste them. And uh, um, for this part, maybe it's better for you to put in like an elaboration of the project that you're doing. So maybe this one will do. And let me just copy and paste that over here. There you go. Now, I've, I've done a couple of steps, but uh, this newsletter totally looks like my own already. And it, it totally looks new. Um, yeah, you cannot change the colors, by the way. So maybe you can uh, try to uh, the colors of this one, of course, the graphics, but you can edit them. You can try to put a position or we can also recolor. OK, if you want to, we can recolor them to any of these colors. There you go. Yes, you can change the color. I wasn't really sure about that a while ago, but apparently you can. The previous Google Docs that I've worked with uh, doesn't let you change the color, but I, I guess the update really made it possible for that. Now, different options. We, we can choose like the first header. I, I want to recolor this again because I think it looks a bit plain. And I want it to look darker just so it can match, you know, the, the picture right over here. And I think the color of this is too light. So to change color of text, it's where it works just like on Google Docs. So you'll just have to um, double click a word or a line and then basically just choose colors from the editing tab right over here or the toolbar at the top. Now, I want to choose like a dark color like this dark magenta will do. There you go. And for the new release, I wanted to make it bold just so it'll attract more attention. And then this is how the newsletter looks like. You can basically work your way all the way down here. But yes, that's how you edit your newsletter for personal or for business use here on uh, Google Docs. So it's easier if you find like the perfect template for your project. And then from that point on, you can work your way out until the end. So you guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful. If I missed anything out, let me know down in the comments below. But basically, that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.